seen some of my older videos, I have, and you guys, some of you have, haven't noticed, some of you may have noticed, there have been a couple of times where I reviewed a product twice. It wasn't a revisit, I just forgot I did it. So now, I forgot I even did a detangling video with apple cider vinegar, but y'all, hold on. Hold on, I'm looking at. You see your metabolism, it is nasty as hell. Wait a minute, what does it say? I'm it. Apple cider vinegar with the mother. You can't say that, that's a bad uh, word. You said a bad mean, word. With the mother. See, see, it is a bad word. A I'm looking at, no this is six years ago. Look how fat I was. Hold on y'all, let me see another video. These are some of my older videos. What am I doing here? Deep conditioning with a wig, I'm cooking. This video was the last time I could fly down my hair by myself and this was in, when did I upload this? 2012, I'm having connection issues y'all. 2012, let's just skip to the meets and let's see. Oh, look how beautiful. My hair is so freaking healthy. I was very consistent using, um, I was using Jane Carter and Shea Moisture products in. My hair is very, this is the optimal health of my hair has been since I've been, look at that. My hair is not nearly as healthy now than it was then. Yes, baby. Let me just fast forward to the. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna link this video below. Yeah, I think I've only been natural for two years here after a shaving head. Yeah, this is two years after a shaving head. Hmm. He's tired. <laughs> Shavy, are you sleepy? Let me hurry up, y'all. I got to get a few things. I'm at Walmart. I got to get a few things and we'll go home, baby, so you can take a nap. Hey, y'all. I'm in my guest bedroom. I just now realized we literally are three weeks away from my best friend's wedding. So I'm going through. I already know what I'm going to wear. I need to go through my toiletries because this is the thing. I'm doing my hair while I'm there. I'm actually washing and blowing out my hair. Hair while I'm there because I want to I want to do those one curls <sighs> I really do want to do what? one curls you guys so um don't do that baby um she's not having a rehearsal dinner so I'm gonna do my hair I'm going to blow out my hair the day before the night before I should say so you guys I have everything out here that I'm gonna be packing as far as body hair Yes, the only thing I don't have over here, of course, are my clothes and shoes. Now, I tend to, excuse that noise, I tend to keep samples of um, products that I've gotten either from hair shows or just, just have randomly. I would not recommend taking samples of products that you've never used before, and especially since I'm shampooing my hair and actually styling my hair while I'm there, I'm very mm. cautious of that. So I have used this line, New Nat. So that's, that's great, JB. So I have two of the moisturizing conditioners that I will be packing along. This stuff I won't be taking. Um, I'm going to fill two of those sample size, trouble size containers with this conditioner. Uh, she that shall not be renamed. <laughs> Sorry y'all, I shouldn't say that. I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture's Retention Raw Shea Butter Shampoo. And that one sample size will be enough for me. As far as styling products. Now, I'm going to be using this Proclaims. Proclaim Gloss and Polish, baby. This has worked perfectly fine for my hair um, to help with frizz. Uh, I have the sample size of TGIN's Twist and Define Cream that I've had. But what I'm going to do is, 
I'm thinking you guys, because that's not enough. I'm gonna have to mix this with another leave-in. Um, Okay. Yeah, not packing a lot of clothes just to, you know, you don't want to just have a lot of stuff on you and I don't want this to be weighed down. Um, the only two things I'm packing that I normally wouldn't pack is my hair dryer and my steamer. Now, y'all, I am seriously content. I mean, I, I'm getting, re I'm really nervous about doing my hair. I have never, ever done wash my hair outside of my home. So, this is going to be interesting. I mean, this shouldn't be a big deal, but yeah, it should be interesting. Um... I'm really, the reason why I say I'm really contemplating, yeah, I'm going to, not today, baby, in a couple more weeks, I'm really no, contemplating, so, boo -boo, while we're on this, what I did with JB is that we're going to be FaceTiming, um, yes, on the phone, so mommy will call you twice a day, okay? Like, every day? Every, twice a day, every day, as she will, baby. So what we're gonna do with him is I'm gonna drop him go. off. Thank you, baby. Um, my plane, my plane doesn't leave till like 11 o'clock, but I'm gonna drop okay. him off at school around seven and say my goodbyes. I don't want him going to the airport with my husband. I don't want him to have a meltdown. Him seeing me leave, my poor baby. This will be the first time I've been away from him. I think I'll be okay, girl, because I'm excited. <laughs> I say that now but when I get to the airport maybe another thing I get motion sickness and I'm one of those people that get a little little bit of anxiety for boarding the plane but Benadryl works for me I know some people you know go all out get Valium and Xanax girl Benadryl and the books of <laughs> the proverbs help me like seriously I don't need any um if you need that that's fine I know people you know they really do have issues with that but Benadryl and maybe if I can find me a that bar. That is hilarious. <laughs> is it hilarious, baby? Um. <laughs> still pretty early thank god i got some sleep jb is still sleeping it's almost five o'clock this is good because for the past two days he's been waking wait watch him wake up while i'm recording up early talked to my mama yesterday my mama's so country y'all she's saying that actually it makes sense um the gas has skyrocketed in texas it is 2.49 a gallon girl that's 40 cents more than what we're paying here in Phoenix. Hold on, y'all. So she says she's not going to drive. She's going to catch the train. It's like $38 round trip to catch the train. So since she's doing that, well, I was going to have her to drive me off to come back to Phoenix. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I looked at renting the car. It's just $78 to rent a car right now. Um, Anyway, I wanted to come on and speak about something real quick. I know I got my bonnet on. You can hear my coffee, y'all. I went ahead and broke down and bought some coffee. Because if you notice in my vlogs, I've been going to go get coffee at least four to five times a week. Granted, most of the time I go to Circle K and get like the dollar seventy coffee. But add up that dollar seventy times three or four times. That's that's coffee and creamer. So anyway. Y'all know in a couple of my videos, I was talking about a friend who has been emotionally draining lately. And a couple of you were like, girl, cut her off, cut her off, cut her off. <laughs> and I get expressed. I was in the car and I have set my radio. Y'all heard me. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to avoid listening to a lot of ratchet music. And I try to watch what I listen to around JB. Nonetheless, starting to listen to my, um, it's called Family Life Radio. Um, and every now and then, especially on the weekends, they have certain programs that come on. So three days ago, while I was in the car, the pastor was given a sermon over having relationships with emotional weak people. I was like, right on time. When you have a relationship with someone who is emotional weak, and I hate to use that, but it is what it is. 
someone who is emotionally draining you, both spiritually, emotionally, of course. Um, it may not be advisable to just cut them off or uh, my girlfriend says, love them from afar. So two things I took away from listening to this um, program, two things. One caller called in and she was saying, you know, how she believes that relationships are, are, are seasonal and um, you can only, sometimes you only have them for a season. And we've heard this before, but that is from the perspective of self. Okay, people come into your life for a season, whatever you're going through, maybe they give you advice. But what if it was the opposite way around? What if you're in that person's life for a season to help them to get to a next transition? So if they are emotional weak and they're draining you at a certain point, you cut them off. You want to cut them off, you know, that's not helping them to get to where they... And it's not to say that if it's affecting you, you know, if they're physically abusing you or something like that, yeah, you cut them off. But if you're in a position to guide them, then as a, this is coming from a Christian perspective to you guys, and even if you don't believe in it, in any of that, but if you're in a position to guide someone and help them, do it, but do it with patience and do it with love, right? It's good to focus on resolutions instead of focusing on the problem because y'all have y'all this this person every every time i speak to them it's a problem it's a problem it's a problem it's a problem i'm you know i'm gonna have to start replying back with bible scriptures like seriously like let's focus on solutions let's focus on the future we can dwell in the we can look back. I don't want to say dwell in the past. We can look back. But when you're looking back, you're supposed to be learning from that. You're supposed to be taken away from that so that hopefully you don't make those same mistakes in the future. So, yeah, that's what I want to speak on real quick. Let me get my coffee together. I'm going to sit up here and pray. Y'all, I've been praying with JB. I've really been starting that. He likes praying. He he told me the other day, he said, can we pray to make me feel better? I'm like, yes, sweetheart. I am a huge believer firm i was gonna say firm huge and firm believer in prayer i don't care who you pray to but i, I pray to jesus christ um yah if you want to call him and yashua that's who i pray to that's who I pray. hey you guys my girlfriend just left it is labor day well it was labor day earlier when you saw me talking I'm filing this nail down. My nail broke. Look, I'm going to have to go back to Tina and Tom. Um, so I think after my best friend wedding is up, I'm going to take them off. That way I also save myself about $50 a month. Yeah, girl. So, um, and they're just getting, when they start to get nasty, they're getting caught on my hair. But anyway, girlfriend just left. Um, I invited her over for Labor Day since she's off. I'm like, girl, she's like, what are you, are you cooking? I'm like, what am I not cooking? I'm like, yeah, I'm cooking, but I'm making tacos. Do you eat turkey? She's like, yeah, I eat turkey. So I made, um, and excuse me for not recording it, but it's turkey tacos. So I made turkey tacos and a corn bean dip. And she was like, you know, I don't eat corn. I said, but you, you need to try this. This is pretty good. And so she's like, this is very good, actually. I'm like, yeah, I can cook, girl. <laughs> So, um, we went through two bottles of wine. Yeah, two, one each. So I'm feeling really good right now. So yeah, I think that nail is about done. I'm gonna go get my nails done probably tomorrow. I need to wake up JB. JB, JB has been horrible for the last two days. Um, oh, JB is typically pretty good, but he, I get it, he's four years old. I said, all right, well, Miss, Miss Sophia's coming over here. My friend, Miss Sophia's coming over here. I need for you not to be interrupting us while we're talking. We're adults. What does he do? For about an hour, he stuck to himself. He didn't say anything. He was going around. But an hour into it, he started interrupting us. And mind you, my friend is from Trinidad. So she's like, oh, no. I can't do a Trinidad in an accent. But she was like, oh, we don't do this where I'm from. She's so just to give you guys a heads up on some hair related videos that are coming up and um i've really been trying to do a little bit more research on some subject matters before i just 
do a video and be like, what the hell is this? You know, I want to, I want to try and take the time to actually research a subject matter before presenting it. Okay. Um, so just some ideas I have coming up. I ran across a young woman's blog. She's very, very popular actually. Well, her images are popular. If those of you have ever seen the image of the curly hair, strand of hair, curly natural hair, I should say, um, and where to cut the hair off that, that's her. Um, the porosity test, that's her. I, I can't think of her name. I've had a bottle of wine, basically. Um, but she had a very interesting blog um, post to where she discussed whether or not apple cider vinegar rinses is really cleansing your hair. Does it really cleanse your hair or is it actually doing something else? So, you know, with that being said, I'm still going to do an AC, ACV rinse, apple cider vinegar rinse, excuse me. So I am, those of you who do watch my vlogs and my hair related videos, don't just think that I'm gonna do a couple of loose two strand twist videos and that's it. I'm actually gonna show you how I've been maintaining my hair because I'm gonna be wearing this for the next five months now at this point. Actually six months, excuse me. Five, six months. Um, so with that being said, I will be doing an ACV rinse in the shower with twists. I will be showing you how I cleanse my hair in twist. Um, what else? I will be doing a video on common natural hair mistakes. It's so funny because Kelowna Curls just, um, she just uploaded a video on natural hair setbacks. Once. Thankfully, I haven't experienced those because I'm very firm on some things that I won't do. Every now and then I'll get people say, do you straighten your hair? Yes, I do straighten my hair. But I don't have the need, I don't feel the need to straighten my hair every year. The last time I straightened my hair was it's gonna be almost two years now. Actually, that's a lie. I did it last year, but it wasn't a full on straightening. If that makes sense, I didn't blow up my hair all the way. And the, the flat iron wasn't on really high. A real bomb ass straightening was two years ago. I'm not gonna do it this year. I may not do it next year. I just don't have the need or want to flat out my hair. There are just some things I wanna do. I would never ever, I can say right now, if I change my mind, okay. But right now, living in a dry area like Phoenix, you guys, if you're not aware of dry environment, Phoenix is extremely dry. So even if you're not coloring your hair or doing something to change the porosity of your hair, you're already having to battle dry heat. And then when you go and color your hair or do something like flat iron your hair or use an excessive heat because you know quite often your porosity is going to change which means that you're going to have a harder time um keeping your hair moisturized if you're already having a hard time before the coloring girl you're definitely going to have a hard time now so i know that as far as i as for me personally i would never color my hair never at this point i'm not doing it i'm not even going to try it so anyway and i do have um a winter giveaway that i want to host and probably October, winter is coming up. I know for some of y'all, not for those of us in Phoenix, but there is a winter, winter or cooler weather, I should say, coming up for you guys. So I do wanna have, I wanna have giveaways more often on my channel, um, just to show you guys how much I appreciate you for viewing and watching. So, all right, you guys, I am really feeling the after effects of this wine. So that would be it for this vlog, okay? Y'all take care, bye.